Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the various concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding students with invalid departments and try to walk you through how we can solve and develop solutions in these problems. This question has been asked a couple of times in Amazon interviews over the past two years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called departments with two different columns, ID and name, where ID is the primary key of this table. The table has information about the ID of each department of an university. Okay, so all the departments of a university are in the departments table. We are also given another table called students, which has three different columns, ID, name and department ID. ID is the primary key for this table. The table has information about the ID of each student at a university and the ID of the department he or she studies at. Okay. Now we are asked to write a SQL query to find the ID and the name of all students who are enrolled in departments that no longer exist. What this means is basically, so in the students table, if any student has a department ID, whatever, which is not present in this table, then because what this department uh, table has information about each of the department of the university. So if that particular department ID is not in this department table, so then that uh, department does not exist, right? And we need to return the all the name, ID and name of all those students who are enrolled in departments that no longer exist. Return the result table in any order. Okay. Let's go through this example. So here we are given that only three departments exist. Electrical engineering, computer engineering and business administration with IDs 1, 7 and 13. So in the students table, Alice, department 1, department ID 1, 7, 13. So anywhere you don't find 1, 7 and 13 in this is basically a department that does not exist. Right. So for example, John, Jasmine, Steve, Diana, right? So John, Diana, Jasmine, Steve. And since we don't need any particular order of the result, so we don't need to order by. Okay, so what can we do in this? Here, if you see in the students table, the department ID is basically the foreign key, which is referencing the ID column of the departments table. So what we can do, is we can join these two tables right using the foreign key of students table and the primary key of the departments table so from students let's alias it as s left to join the departments table capital d on the foreign key of students table so that is s dot department id is equal to department stable d dot id right so basically what will this do so it will see okay student stable department id one goes to the department table sees one electrical engineering so electrical engineering will come for seven a computer engineering will come for 13 business administration will come for these which is not present in the department table so for 14 you will have null and null right for 77 null and null right so we are required to only keep those where the departments no longer exist. So that means where the department name is null, right? So if uh, this 14 is not in this department's table, then it is going to have null and null after performing the join. And we need to only keep those rows where the department name is null. So where department name is in the departments table so capital d dot name is null and now what we are need to return the id and the name and the id is from so to john right so john to so from this table students table so return s dot id and the name right so s dot name and we do not need to alias it as in something because ID and name are the name of the columns that we need to return. 
So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and run this and see if this works. Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me submit it and see if it gets accepted and passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this problem. So hopefully you found this video useful. Let me know if it was useful. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.